We are just about done with all the hard work. We just knitted these three surfaces together so that this edge will end at this corner and we also extruded this surface normal to the mirror plane so that when we create this fill surface we will make it normal to this extruded surface at this edge which will also make the fill normal to the mirror so that it will mirror over properly with a seamless blend at the mirror plane. To make the fill we're going to have one, two, three edges that we will control with tangency, curvature, and contact and then we will further control the shape with one, two, three constraint curves. Are three constraints necessary? I'm not quite sure, but I'm being safe here. Go to our fill surface. Our boundary is this edge, this edge, this edge. Set this one for tangency. Leave that a contact. Set this for curvature. Now let's add our constraint curves. One, two, three. You can see how the surface adjusts a little bit as we do that. And we are done. Let's take a look at the zebra stripes. You see this looks pretty good through here. And this looks very good through here. And if we take some cross sections, we see that the seat surface now is concave all the way down its length. I'm going to delete this temporary surface. Just to get it out of the way. And now I'm going to take these bodies and mirror them about the right plane. And select knit surfaces. So now I have this is one body and the seat as a second body. And I won't worry about knitting these together just yet because I have one more knit command coming anyway. Now eventually what I want to do is thicken this entire body. But if I do so, because these side walls are not vertical, the bottom during the thicken command will thicken inward at a slight angle leaving the bottom non-flat. Instead what I will do is cap this off with a planar surface do a final knit of all the surfaces together, turn it into a solid, and then shell it, which will leave me with a flat bottom surface because the bottom is planar. Planar surface is very simple. Just click on the edges that I want to turn into a planar surface. These surfaces have to exist in the same plane to start with. If they don't, it will not give me a highlight. In this case, everything's fine. And now I can finally knit these three surface bodies together and at the same time turn them into a solid. So one, two, three. And we'll check try to form solid. And now finally, for the first time, our surfaces have become a solid body, which we see all the surfaces have disappeared. And we now have one solid body in our feature tree. Last thing I will do is add an 8 millimeter radius to this edge. And shell this body. And there we are.